Type 1 diabetes is when somebody's body doesn't make enough insulin. Insulin is important to control blood sugar. The pancreas, a part of your body in your stomach, makes insulin. And in type 1 diabetes, the immune system has decided to attack it and so keeps it from making the insulin. We don't exactly know what triggers type 1 diabetes. We know that it's an immune disorder. So again, your immune system, which usually helps fight cold and flus, has gotten tricked and has decided to fight a part of the body instead. But we don't know why that process starts. There's probably a genetic element, meaning that type 1 diabetes can run in families, but actually most people who have type 1 diabetes are the only one in their family to have the disorder. So there's something more to it than that that we're just not sure yet. Type 1 diabetes typically presents as being very thirsty and peeing a lot. So the first thing that our patients or parents will tell us is that they've noticed for at least a couple of weeks their kids drinking a lot more and going to the bathroom a lot more. One of the signs we typically hear of is a kid who was previously toilet trained or who was previously trained overnight now running into issues with accidents during the day or wetting the bed. There really is no way to prevent type 1 diabetes. When people are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, it's actually a process that started in their body long before the symptoms developed. And it's only once the symptoms start that we even know it's there. To give insulin for type 1 diabetes, it is a needle that's given just under the skin. It's actually quite small and really doesn't hurt. Technology has come a long way since we first started giving insulin for type 1 diabetes, and there's lots of different ways to give it, like through little pens that are very easy to use, or even through fancy insulin pumps. Children with type 1 diabetes can absolutely live a normal life. They do need to do a few things differently, like checking their blood sugars and giving insulin, but anything a child was going to be able to do the day before they got diagnosed, they'll be able to do the day after and for the rest of their life. Although there is no cure for type 1 diabetes today, people with type 1 diabetes still can live a normal, long, and healthy life. 